a lot in the news about net zero homes. Uh, I've got a young daughter and uh, I'd like to see uh, climate change addressed in a meaningful way. And if we can heat our homes across the country using technology like this, it's going to help Canada and help everybody. It, it really is groundbreaking and it's a wave of things to come. First it was a concept, let, let's, let's prove that there's an environmentally safe uh, alternative way to, to store power from the sun. It's, we can store it into the ground and uh, when we need to withdraw it in the cooler months, uh, we can pull it back out. So we're looking at the solar panels on the garages that are behind all the rows of houses. And this is basically where it all happens. We capture the sun's heat on any sunny day. The energy that's collected will transfer it to the water in these tanks. And from these tanks, we can either redistribute it back to the homes for heating or out to the storage field. We're looking at the central area. It's a kind of a hatch that uh, is in the center of our solar thermal seasonal storage borehole area. So it's the area where we can capture all the sun's heat and we're going to put it underground and we're going to warm the ground up under this area here. We have no sun today, yet we're heating these homes with solar energy that's been collected on sunny days. So the simple fact that we can store it underground, bring it back a season later and utilize that energy that was captured from three or four or five months before is awesome. As this is a demonstration project of just 52 homes, the economics of it is not totally feasible. However, in a large scale project of a thousand homes or so or more, the economics are much more feasible. So for this project to go ahead and be done across Canada and other communities, you'd need to have a much larger community than just simply 52 homes.